Well, <clears throat> hello everybody. Welcome to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways. Yeah, I'm not the excited person I usually am for this opening because uh, something happened today that just um, irked me to the point of wanting to go out and find somebody that I could just line up against the wall and shoot and uh, just wound him and then leave him in the desert to try to survive. And I'll let you know about that in a minute. But uh, what it boils down to is, uh, oh man, somebody dumped another set of puppies up the road. Now, I had gone up the road today to help my neighbor with a, uh, a blocked main sewer line. And uh, when I was leaving his place, well, actually, let's go back a little bit. As I was heading up there, I saw a guy up ahead in a white pickup truck with a camper shell type thing on it. And he was going real slow in the road, but it looked like there was some dogs running behind him. Well, when I got up there to where he was at, he stopped. And the dogs stopped too. So they apparently recognized the vehicle. And uh, I gave the guy a dirty look, and I just, something wasn't right. So I told my neighbor about it when I got up there. And uh, anyway, when I was leaving, after we got the drain um, cleared, I was coming back down the road, and right there in the same spot, I saw something tiny in the road, and it was moving. And I pulled over, and sure enough, it was a tiny pup. I mean, a real tiny pup. It was one of two. And here's a picture I took of them out in the desert. Okay, now these guys are actually just about um, two times the size of my hand. I can hold one in my hand. Um, right out like th like this and his head sticks out one side and his rear legs stick out the other side of my hand So I'd say that they're no more than two weeks old at the most and some dirt bag Dropped these guys in the middle of nowhere in the desert To fend for themselves in the desert and it's gonna be a cold night tonight it these guys would not have survived the night out there in the cold well, anyway, this this guy on this side was the bigger of the two, just slightly bigger. And um, he was in the one that was in the road. This other one stayed up on the side on the bankment, right where they are now. And uh, as I stopped and got out, they both ran over behind that bush right over there. And they were hiding behind the bush, but they were crying. And I just couldn't take it. So I got a cookie out of the van and crumbled it up. You know, cookie meaning a, uh, a dog biscuit. And I crumbled it up into small pieces. And then I went to the side of the road and I called them in a nice calm voice. And this guy came first. That's the picture of him coming towards me. And the other one was a little weary about coming towards me but uh did did kind of follow this guy and when i got him over close enough to me i put some of the cookie crumbles down the biscuits down and I, they started eating right away they were hungry no water no food no shelter some dirt bag left these guys out in the desert to die tonight and uh, become the coyote bait or whatever well, that was it. I couldn't leave them out there. And I put them, picked them up by the uh, skin, like, the, like a mama dog would do, the back of their neck. And I put them in the van and put their crumbled cookies in there and they uh, went right to eating. They, they just wanted to eat. So I couldn't take these because my, my four that I have here are way bigger than these. These guys would be a mouthful to them. And I'm sure that uh, 
um, there, there would be fighting and just, I can't afford the four I got, so I couldn't take two more little babies like this on. So I brought them back to my neighbor's place who um, has a dog sanctuary but is uh, overwhelmed with too many dogs. But uh, he, he also realizes that I can't take them, so he took them on. And uh, he's got them there now, so um, they won't die tonight at least. But uh, they're, they're probably still a little too young to be away from mom. And uh, they probably need some uh, special care. Well, he does that, or he's been doing that for quite a while, so he and his wife know exactly what to do for this. And they'll take care of him. Um, sorry. It, uh tears me up and it angers me and I'm going to give a warning to anybody out there whoever has the idea of doing this to these animals if I catch you I will not hesitate to force you into the desert tie you to a cactus take off your clothes and leave you out there to try to survive through the night so that's a promise for me, not a threat. That's a promise, the little bastards. Anyway, excuse my French. Um, yeah, I usually have my dash cam running, and I could have got the plate number and, and a good look at the guy there because he he eyeballed me when I drove past him, and he uh, he looked like he was guilty of something. Well, of course he was. There it is right there. But, uh, yeah, yeah, if I ever catch you, if I find out where you are, I'm coming to get you. And you're not going to like it, trust me. Not a threat, that's a promise. As Will Sonnet used to say in the guns of Will Sonnet, no brag, just fact. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today. Don't forget thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. G-Bear signing off.